Hey guys, so for today's video, I am bringing you three more looks with my eyeshadow palette with Sigma. So I have seen some beautiful looks online using my palette, and I wanted to do this video where I'm recreating three looks that other influencers have done with my palette. It has been so cool seeing other people using my palette and just seeing what kind of looks that they come up with. And so all three of these looks are kind of different than what I normally do, but I'm so excited to show you guys. So I'll be recreating a look from Batty Bean, Angelica, and Patty Alonzo here on YouTube. And of course, I'm gonna link their videos down below so make sure to check them out. All right we got a lot of looks to get through so let's get started. All right let's get started with look number one. So this look is by Betty Jean aka Batty Bean. She posted this look on Instagram Reels and I loved it because it kind of has a little bit of a grungy vibe to it. I love how she mixed Schmugula and Zinfandel together and then the little pearls she added at the end are so stinking cute. So let's dive in. Starting with Schmugula on the Sigma E25 and this shade's going to go throughout the entire crease. And then I'm going to take more Schmoogla on the tip of this brush and run that across the entire lower lash line. And as always, connecting the shadow right out here on the outer part of the eye. So pretty much I have Schmoogla just kind of wrapped around my entire eye like that. On the same brush, I'm going to pick up Zinfandel. And I am picking this up on the flat side of the brush. I am going to tap off the excess and I'm going to stamp this on the outer half of my lid. I'm also going to take more Zinfandel on the tip of this brush and run that along the entire lower lash line as well. Now I don't think Betty Jean did this next step, but you guys know me, I love to use the shade Bare to really clean up the edges and give myself a really smooth blend. So I'm going to pick up Bare on a Sigma E33, and I'm just going to go around the edges of all of this eyeshadow with a really light hand just so this shadow really blends seamlessly into my skin. All right, and then on this brush, I am taking a little bit more Schmoogula and just touching that back up in the crease. I'm also touching up Zinfandel as well. Don't be afraid to touch up your shadow because you can always, always add more. Now for the shimmer, I'm gonna pick up Champagne Problems on a Sigma E54. And that's gonna go on the entire inner half of my eyelid. I have watched pretty much every single video Instagram post that I can see of my palette and so many people are saying that Champagne Problems is their favorite shade and I mean they're not wrong. It is a beautiful color so that's super cool to see. I'm gonna go back to the E33 I was just using and blend around the edges of Champagne Problems. I'm also gonna bring Champagne Problems on the inner corner. Just kind of have it like wrapped around this whole inner part. Now, like I said, Betty Jean finishes up the look with some really pretty pearls on the outer corner of the eye, but I don't have any pearls. I do have like these little stones that I got for the Taylor Swift concert, but I don't think, it's just not the vibe that I want, so I'm gonna pass on that today. But I am gonna go finish up this look with some mascara and lashes. All right, so I popped the tiniest bit of black eyeshadow along my top lash line just to hide my lash band a little bit. And for my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Half Lash in Vivid. And here is a first look done that is inspired by the look that Betty Jean did. I do love how simple this look is. Like, it's really just Schmoogla, Zinfandel, and Champagne Problems. And I used Bare just to blend out a little bit, but four shades is not bad. I also feel like you could totally just use one brush for this whole look if I cleaned off my E25 between steps this would totally work for that all right let's move on to look number two all right so the second look is a look that Angelica did she did a video of four looks with four different indie palettes and she did this look with my palette and it was absolutely stunning I think a few days before that she posted like an Instagram story or something and she was wearing this eye look and I was like is that with my palette because the colors looked really similar and I was hoping it was and then when she posted that video I was like oh my gosh it is with my palette I have to recreate this 
this. It is so stunning. All right, let's get started. So knowing Angelica, of course she goes straight in with the orange shade Evermore. I'm gonna use the Sigma E25. And she goes straight in with this shade on the outer crease and on the lower lash line. a little bit too much shadow so I'm just gonna kind of wrap this around the whole eye and then again tip of the brush for the lower lash line and then as I'm blending out the shadow and I have less product on my brush I am kind of blending out the edges a little bit more Now again, we're going with Zinfandel. And again, for this look, she kind of deepened up the crease in the outer part of the lid with Zinfandel. Kind of funny how both her and Betty Jean did this step with Zinfandel. So you can see, since I'm deepening up with this shade, I'm not blending it out as high as I did with Evermore. I love Evermore and Zinfandel together, and that's why I put them next to each other in the palette, because they make a beautiful color combo. Again, I'm going to take more Zinfandel on the tip of this brush and use that along my lower lash line. Now we're going to take the shade 2015 again on a Sigma E54 and I am going to wet my brush and Angelica places this on the center of her lid. So not all the way in the inner corner, which is kind of different for me, but I'm going to do the way that she did it. And then I'm just kind of overlapping 2015 and Zinfandel together right here. So you can see I'm leaving this little inner part of my eye blank. And I'm just gonna go back to my E25 with nothing on it and just softly blend around the edges of the purple. I am gonna clean off my E54 on my Sigma switch. And then what Angelica does is she takes the shade bare and places that on this inner blank part of the lid, which is honestly something I have never done. I always use bare as kind of like my blending shade. So this is kind of different for me. I'm gonna pick up bare on the E54 I just cleaned off. Place that right in this inner part of the lid. And this is cool because it kind of brightens up this area. And that's what's been really fun for me watching people use my palette is just seeing how they use the shades in completely different ways than I would. I just had to rewatch Angelica's video to see if she does anything else on the lower lash line. It doesn't look like she does, but she did take bare all the way into the inner corner right here. I know she does love like a matte white highlight. And while this shade isn't, it's not white, you know, it's more of a kind of creamy vanilla color. This is nice just to really brighten this whole inner part of the eye. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes, then I'll show you the final eye look. All right, mascara and lashes are on. For lashes for this look, I wanted something a little bit more dramatic. So of course I'm wearing the bright lashes and I'm wearing the style Lush. It's one of my more dramatic styles, but I think this lash is stunning. And I just love how this whole look turned out. Like I said, it was kind of different for me to put bare in the whole inner corner area like this, but I feel like it really did kind of brighten that in my eye. And I just think this whole color combo is stunning. Okay, this eye has been watering a little bit off camera but both of these looks used Zinfandel on the whole outer part of the eye and it's just so funny how different that shade can look depending on what you mixed it with so again on this eye we mixed it with that warm brown schmoogula on this side we mixed it with that bright orange shade evermore and it's just cool to see how versatile that shade is all right let's move on to the third look I apologize for my lighting being different than it was in the other two looks the sun was coming in so I had to close my curtains so here we are with all of the lights on <laughs> third eye look is going to be based off of a look that Patty Alonzo did with my palette it was her first look with my palette when she first got it in PR and what I love about her look is that she did pretty much all of the browns on the top part of the lid but then played with some color on the lower lash line which I think is a perfect way to use my palette so let's get started so Patty starts with the shade bare and I'm gonna use the Sigma E28 and she places this all over the lid to set her eyeshadow primer which I'm gonna do today because my primer is still a little creasy in my eyelids I feel like some days my eyes are just creasier than other days but 
That's also another great way to use this eyeshadow is to set your eyes. I'm setting all the way up towards my brow. I think this is kind of cool too because in all three looks I've used bare in a different way. In the first look I used bare to blend out the edges, in the second look bare was used on the inner corner and the inner part of the lid, and in this look bare is used to set the lid. So, so many different ways to use that shadow. Now we're gonna go in with basic on a Sigma E25, and I'm gonna start by kind of stamping this shade on the outer part of the crease. Have you noticed that I have started every single look with a Sigma E25? I talk about this all the time, that this is like my most used eyeshadow brush, hands down. And it's also a very versatile brush. And like, if you are new to eyeshadow and you were like, Angela, I can only get one brush, what brush do I need? It'd be this one. All right, so Patty just kind of uses basic on the outer part of the eye, just to kind of get the eye ready for more eyeshadows on top. This works as a really great transition shade. And now Patty does more of a softer halo eye for this look. We're gonna start with Schmugula again on the same E25. Actually, I might switch to a smaller brush because my eyes are smaller than hers. I'm actually gonna take an E27, which is just a smaller version of the E25. And we're gonna start with this shade on the outer part of the eye bringing it into the outer crease and on the outer part of the lid. So pretty much the whole outer third. And you definitely wanna use a small brush for this when you're doing a halo eye because the detail is all in getting the outer and the inner corner dark while leaving the center of the lid lighter. So that's why I switched to the E27 because the E25 would be a little bit too big for me. I also don't love halo eyes on myself, but the fun part of this video is trying some different looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring Schmoogla into the inner part of my eye. And then you want to softly connect this shade right in the center of the upper crease. So you can see I'm keeping the lid blank. Picking up a little bit more of the shadow so I can add more in the center right here. I am doing this look on both eyes because this is like my final full face look, but I gotta say, I feel like the eyeshadows are applying and blending really well by using that bare shade as the base. So I think I'm definitely gonna keep doing that because I'm very happy with how everything's blending out. Now what's kind of different about this halo eye and what I've done in the past is that Patty's gonna take the deepest shade and just put it on the outer corner because normally when I do a halo eye, I put the deepest shade on the outer and inner corner, but I'm kind of thinking that's maybe what I don't like about a halo eye on myself. So I'm kind of excited to see what this looks like on me. So on the same small E27, I'm gonna pick up cold brew and that's gonna go pretty much everywhere where we place Schmugula on the outer part. <music> I'm liking how that looks on my eye shape versus doing the outer and inner corner the same depth. Now it's time to add some shimmer to the lid. So again, I'm gonna take a Sigma E54. You can tell this is my go-to lid brush and I am gonna spray it with some spray. And we're gonna pick up the shade Hollywood. And this is gonna go on the center of the eyelid. Like I said in my first video where I announced this palette, this Hollywood shade is so fun because I really feel like it goes with any of the colors in my palette. So I really like how Patty paired it with the neutral browns in the palette at first, but it also goes really well with like any of the colorful shades. All right, so this is going all in the center of my lid. I'm gonna go back to my E27 with nothing on it and just softly blend around those edges. And now what Patty does is actually a color combination I have not done yet. So she actually puts champagne problems on top of Hollywood. And when I saw her do that, I was like, why have I never thought of this? So I'm gonna take some champagne problems on my finger. And this is gonna go right in the center of Hollywood. So kind of right on top, but try to focus it right in the center. And I think this makes a cool color on the lid. It makes Hollywood look a little less yellowy, but it's still like kind of a fun gold. I just thought that was a really cool way to wear these two shades together. So here's what it looks like with just Hollywood. See, it's pretty yellowy. And there is with Champagne Problems and Hollywood together. I think I do want to touch up the browns really quick before we move on to the lower lash line. So I'm taking a little more Schmoogula on the E27. I'm just going to retouch up this little inner part of my eye. And I'm going to touch up Cold Brew on the 
outer part of my lid right here because I like when my outer corner looks really dark. All right, now for the lower lash line, Patty takes PDX, which is the matte deep blue. It puts that all along there and then uses a teal eyeliner in her waterline and it looks like such a cool color combo, but I actually want to use a different color on the waterline. Like I said, Patty uses PDX. I'm going to use 2015 today just because uh, purple hair, obviously. You could also do this look with Faye on the lower lash line, even Autumn, or you can still use the browns if you want to. But adding just a pop of color on the lower lash line is one of my favorite ways to wear a little bit of color. So I'm going to take the shade 2015 on a BK Beauty 209, and that's going to go along my entire lower lash line. And I'm kind of pressing and wiggling the brush so I don't get a lot of fallout because my base makeup is done. And I've been wanting to do a tutorial of this kind of look where I use the neutrals on the top and then purple on the lower lash line. So I'm excited that Patty kind of gave me the inspiration to do that today. Okay, so I have that purple really packed on. I haven't blended yet, don't worry. I am gonna clean off this brush on my Sigma Switch so I can get all the pigment off of it. I'm gonna pick up the shade Basic on the same BK Beauty brush. And I'm gonna use that kind of right below the purple to soften that out. See how much of a difference just that little bit of softening made? Like, look at how harsh that looks. Much better. And then for the inner corner, we're gonna go back to Champagne Problems. I am gonna add a purple eyeliner to my waterline. I'm gonna use this one by Give Beauty, and the shade is called Violet Timing. Honestly, it's not the best purple eyeliner I've ever used, but it's doing something. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the final look. All right, mascara and lashes are on and for this look, I'm wearing the bright lashes in the style Daydream. I gotta say, I think this is my favorite look out of the three just because I love that we mixed Hollywood and Champagne Problems together to get that kind of different lid shade in the pop of purple. You guys know I love purple eyeshadow and it goes with my new purple hair, so. I think this is my favorite, but let me know which look is your favorite. Here is what the full face looks like for this look. And yes, on my lips, I am wearing my current obsession lipstick, which is BK Beauty Grace. <laughs> I had so much fun recreating all three of these looks using my eyeshadow palette. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.